There are about two million farms across the country. They all use big equipment like this to till the land, plant the seeds, and of course, do all the harvesting. Now, can you imagine doing all of that hard work from a smartphone? This is a view from Austin, Texas. We are tilling ground um, without an operator in the cab and interacting with it here in CES in Vegas. The tractor has cameras on all sides. One screen shows of it staying in a straight line. Another watches for obstacles. And as the farmer watches, they can see the instrument panel and watch as it turns to till another row. The farmer can even drive the tractor back to the pumps for refueling, all from his or her smartphone. Adair says it isn't about cutting jobs, but because on large farms, everything happens at once. You have to be running your combine harvesting the crop. You have to be unloading that crop into a tractor with a grain cart so that it can transport it to a semi-truck. And then you need an operator in the semi-truck that can transport it to your grain elevator to get stored and then eventually sold. And as that's happening, farmers need to retill the land for the next crop. We think of our autonomy as more of filling that need of letting you have your experienced operators doing the more important work. And that window, super tight, you don't have the time to mess around, especially if Mother Nature throws you curveballs. And this isn't a concept. Seven states have farmers using autonomous John Deere products every day. And the company tells me their hope is that every piece of equipment that touches corn or soy can be fully autonomous within the next six years. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.